I'm going to show you how you can sync two or more tablets together. So what you can do is when you have a tablet that you've updated, added uh, sheet music, maybe you know four or five sheet musics to that, create a set list with 20 songs, whatever, you can, you can bring that over to another tablet by syncing them together. And it'll update both of them or, or one or the other. So anyway, what you do is you go to your three dots. I'm on the desktop, but it's the same on the phone. Then you go down to Sync Library. And I'm going to do Sync to another device. You can go up to a cloud, up to Google or Dropbox or something like that. You can create one out of the cloud, and then you can sync from there. Um, you can make a backup file and sync from that. But we're going to do two devices. So when you're in here, um, the server is your is a tablet that has all the updates on it and you want to go over to the other one. So you're going to start with the server, um, do a two-way sync so it'll go back and forth between between the two tablets. Or you can just update the server, update the client. But this we'll go with this for now. Um, all these check marks here, you can look them over and, and see what you want selected there. Uh, the sync annotations is a good one to have checked because um, any updates you make to, to some sheet music, um, say if you would type in some words or, or if you highlight stuff or make notes, whatever, that'll go also over to the other tablet. So that's really nice. Um, so you look at those and check what you want. I usually just leave them all on. All on. Um, here you can select this, whatever you want to have, have happen. It's always from the server, always from the client or last modified songs or groups, you know, um, whatever you need there. And here you can sync blue. I usually use Bluetooth from one tablet to the other, which can also go through Wi-Fi. So you'd select Bluetooth and um, that way they both will connect to each other that way. And then um, once you hit, then you hit create server. So on the, on the one you're starting at, so once you create that, then it'll, it'll be broadcasting out. So then when you go to your other, <clears throat> your other tablet, go through the same process. And when you get here, um, it'll probably already say client, but if not, you can make it a client, but it kind of, it kind of sees it through the Bluetooth. I, I believe that's, that's what happened to me. Um, so it'll, it'll connect to the other one. And so once it connects, you'll see it, you'll see the tablet pop up here and, uh, you just do a direct connect. And once you do that, um, I, th I believe it just starts syncing right, right from there. So you'll see stuff going back and forth through the two tablets down here. So that, that'll be it. Um, so that's how you sync two or three or four, how many ta tablets you have. You can make them all look the same and do the same thing. Um, and uh, another kind of neat feature too is a uh, is a library you can make up. Uh, I'll just add this on. Um, you can make a library. Go into go into library settings, and you can have a couple different libraries. This library might only have four songs on it. This might have five hundred songs or or whatever. Then we do sync back and forth. You can select the library. Make sure you're on the right library you're going to sync to. So you can make up a new one, a blank one. And you can sync all of your uh, all your sheet music over to to the new one you've created, the blank one. So you go back, and um, you'll see here there there be a, might only be like one or zero songs in there, whatever you have for that library. And then you can switch back and forth, go through settings, switch libraries, um, set active. So then now if I go back out. Uh, oops. If I go back out, um, you'll see here 340 songs, so they're close, but different. So anyway, that's how you sync several tablets together. Thank you.